in that one it felt like you probably had enough clear cut chances to win three or four games but somehow you haven't won today we haven't won today no but importantly we didn't lose either the, 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 the defensive unit stayed focused concentrated didn't get frustrated and um, made sure we came away with something which is massively important and yes uh, um, Any sort of slice of luck, any sort of little bounce, and we win that three or four. Uh, lads, lads have given everything they got, they're, they're absolutely devastated in there not to come away with three. But like I said, it's important when you don't, you don't lose, you show that great determination to come away with something. You were very, very complimentary of the defence after the Exeter game on Tuesday night, and again, it was, it was very much the same. I mean, other than maybe a sort of 10, 15 minute spell. Defensive unit are performing and they're dogged and aggressive. You know, you have a great platform to build upon um, for the amount of attacking chances that we had, and that's all because they're rock solid and, and organised. So, credit to them. Um, more credit that they've kept concentration and not got frustrated. Um, so, you no, know, really pleasing from goalkeeper all the way through. Great. So, I suppose on that, you, you could have seen it becoming one of those games where you were peppering them. Seven minutes on the clock, they sneak one on the break, and it's so crucial, isn't it, that your side didn't allow that even throughout the midfield to, to start the counter. Absolutely, it was looking like one of those that it, where it was so one-sided and so many chances that just didn't fall, and then you're thinking because because you know what football's like. just three games left looking at one game at a time or are you starting to look at that big picture of the three games one game at a time one game at a time we've got to beat Barrow we've got to, we've got to face a team on Tuesday night they're going to be fighting for their lives absolutely fighting for their lives they're going to stay so team up for them one today so that's going to be into it a little bit so they are going to be coming to our place absolutely scrapping for their lives we have to match them for that we have to match them for the desire to, to compete and if we do that Chances we're creating sooner or later, we're gonna we're gonna give somebody a paste in um, um, because you can't keep creating the chances and having the domination in the final third that we're having and not start putting those chances away. That will happen. So it sounds like you're expecting some of the scrap on Tuesday night, but given what those those players showed out there today, that's something I imagine they'd be looking forward to because they they showed everything. Give everything uh, as they have since since my first training session can't ask any more you know they, they have to keep going to the well but I think they're enjoying it you know I do think they're enjoying the challenge I think they're enjoying the you know the togetherness the camaraderie the challenge the what we're trying to achieve I think they're enjoying the fight and, and that's important and they're sticking together which is massively important and obviously there will be that frustration after a game like that and in some ways almost more frustrating than, than a defeat coming in different circumstances but is it crucial to get them back into training on, on Monday morning and, and give them the belief that what they showed today could, could in theory be anyone? Yeah, they've got that. Obviously, we've just spoken in there. They've got the belief. On another day, we score four, maybe five. Uh, and that's not exaggerating. On another day, that's, that's put to bed early. Um, and, and it just sometimes, it, it just, it's not going to be. Don't go your way. But you can't, you know, you can't be babies about it. You've got to accept it. With, Tuesday night. 